This is the Fujifilm X-A7 and this is the first camera I have ever purchased. It is a compact mirrorless camera which has very unique and modern design and yes in this price range I should say this is the best looking camera. It has fully articulating a screen, a 24 megapixel CMOS sensor along with the touch screen capabilities with Fujifilm unique film simulation for photos and videos which can record up to 4K without any crop is a great option at this price. So under 40,000 INR it is a very good camera for a beginner who is looking to buy a camera for better videos and photo quality. So in today's video let's find out whether you should get this camera and whether it's worth your money. Hey guys this is Vibhav. Welcome back to the brand new video with that said do the needful drop a like and subscribe to the channel and let's get started This camera is for anyone who is looking to buy a compact mirrorless camera in a budget of under 40000 rupees and don't want to compromise with the photos and video quality and also for people who want to upgrade their mobile phone photography or upgrade their video quality on YouTube. For all of these scenarios, it's a pretty capable camera. If you compare with Canon and Nikon, it has its own advantage. This is one of the most compact camera I have ever held. It has sort of leather texture which gives it a very vintage look. This is a very nice looking camera and it stands apart in terms of looks and design. You also have a big 3.5 inch fully touch screen which looks phenomenal. Looking at the display even in direct sunlight is not an issue. It has to be good because it does not have a viewfinder so you will have to look at the screen while taking a picture but I feel it is easy for a beginner who is just coming from a smartphone like myself. You have a micro HDMI port and type C port for data transfer and charging. You also have 2.5mm mic port and it comes with 2.5mm to 3.5mm cable for you to connect your external mic. On the left side you have a tiny button to access the flash and at the front you have delete and play button uh, through which you can access your clicked photos and videos. For transferring photos and videos wirelessly you have remote app on your phone through which you can transfer photos and videos over Wi-Fi and use your smartphone as a remote for your camera. I'm a beginner for any sort of DSLR or mirrorless camera but after getting the camera I was able to operate it with ease without having to worry about difficult camera controls. Next to the screen you have a joystick to access the controls and different camera settings. Now on the top you have a dial system to change between modes, let's say between manual shutter, priority, landscape, portrait and so on. Then we have two separate buttons for photos and videos and the dial which lets you change the shutter speed and aperture. And while using the camera I found a few interesting settings. So if you go to the self timer option, you have option to set the time like 2 seconds, 10 seconds. But it was interesting to see other options like face auto shutter. So whenever your camera sees a face, it automatically clicks a picture. So I found these features very interesting to have. Okay, so you may ask why this camera is different and you should pick one over the other like Canon M50. So the first reason is of course the price. It comes under 40,000 rupees. Uh, the original cost of this camera was 60k but at the discounted price you will get it under 40,000 rupees. It comes with Fuji film simulation technique uh, which lets you select the filters. Uh, you can select filter like Astria, Previa and monochrome filters and monochrome filter is my favorite because it lets you shoot photos in black and white. So these are some sample images which I clicked through this camera. You can look at it. Talking about the video, it can record up to 4K 30fps and 1080p 60fps and the best part is 4K 30fps is without any crop and the video quality is very good for the camera this size. But the camera stabilization could have been better. You get 15 to 45 mm lens along with the camera and it is good for a beginner. It has many extra features like webcam. You can use this camera as a webcam for very good video quality. So let us know your thoughts about this camera and if you know someone who is looking to buy a new camera, you can share this video with them. Lastly, please subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.